It was a road race to remember for the 6,200 men and women who ran the 10K route through downtown Holyoke and the many thousands of onlookers who lined the race route to cheer them home. This little boy on dad's shoulders had himself a bird's eye view of the thousands participating in the race that continues increasing its popularity every year. And there were thousands of spectators to cheer on these fleet-footed men and women. We have a couple family members racing, and they do it every year, and we just come to drink and have a good time and wait for them to get done. The 10K distance seemed to pass in a flash for the more than 6,000 runners. There was plenty of Western Massachusetts pride in the outcome. April Sabadosa of Westfield was the first woman to cross the finish line. The pride of Providence, Shane Quinn, will take home top honors in the men's division. All the runners came out winners where the weather is concerned. It's great, it's perfect weather. You know, this is what you hope for every year, kind of sunny, low 40s, and it just kind of keeps you going. And now, on to the parade on Sunday. Many of the onlookers no longer live in Holyoke, but they never forgot their roots. And this is one weekend you make certain you come home and relive traditions. I grew up in Holyoke, so we meet family today. Uh, we all gather every year, so it's a good time. We watch the parade tomorrow in front of the church. On a good day, the Holyoke St. Patrick's Parade has been known to attract more than 400,000 onlookers. So let's hope with the luck of the Irish, Sunday will be just such a day. Cy Becker, 22 News.